Birthday Hawa, Birthday Al Shai, Birthday Hawa, Birthday Al Shai, Birthday Hawa, Birthday Al Shai, Call Law, you are Hawa, Allah, I know you Hawa, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakudash, Bashim Mosai Hawa, Bashim Mosai, the name of the only God and Son, Yahawa Shai, which are in the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is the true, almighty, powerful name of Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, name is Yahweh Shai. Hashem is in the name. Hashem is in the name of the Holy Spirit. All praise and glory to our power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Kakodash. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well, peace and salutation to the elect for us, fruits, choices, parts, best ruled aristocrats, starting with your Rashim, your Heats, uh, prophets, and Nabiayim. 144,000 men out of the nation of Israel, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel. There's a light to you, so called New Latinos and the Americans, and you Israelite foreigners that are likened onto the speckled bird that have been uh, scattered the first to four winds. You know, you're looking at various uh, appearances, but lineages go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which we try to spirit by the spirit, whether we are children of the power. It's the spirit that bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God, our power. And the words that the Lord speak is spirit in their life. All right, so uh, just going into it, I'm the brother Mafu from the Great Millstone Play Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, come again with a wee lesson. Of course, shout out to the one third elect. All right, peace from Mok too as well. All right, there's lights. Now I am. <clears throat> uh, there's a, a street teaching the brothers had did. Um, that was in. On August, I believe the eighth, if I'm not mistaken, and in this particular teaching, um, uh, I believe uh, this particular man, uh, I believe his name, uh, his uh, slave name is uh, like Pablo or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And then on the comment, uh, well, I was on the comment board. Um, managed, of course, uh, you know, be on it, but, um, uh, you know, the other brother actually was in the, that's in the camp, uh, Mayim, he actually, uh, you know, asked as well, they were, uh, briefly probably trying to give him a Hebrew name, and, um, let me see if I can play this real quick. Brother, Shalom, brothers. Hey. Brother, Shalom, defenders of the gospel. Hey, Shalom, uh, um, a moth, but that's very spiritual that you want there, brother. Yahweh is the name of Yahweh. Really, it's the Greek word version of saying Yahweh. That's beautiful. Yahweh means he, Hawa means In Hebrew, that verse. So he said it's Saul. The name of the name of uh, translator would be the following. So, um, yeah, I believe the, uh, uh, he said that his name was like Pablo or something like that. And I think it, that's like Paul, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. The brother was saying or something. But basically, to cut a long story short, um, they pretty much wanted to know what was... Uh, uh, Paul's name in Hebrew Alright And um, uh, You know I was just uh, you know, I made a mistake Because I was thinking Saul But his name obviously was changed to Paul Alright uh, Source uh, is Acts 13 And Let me see what is that Acts 13 and 9 Now but Saul who is also called Paul Filled with the Rechak with Dash or Holy Spirit Fastened his eyes on him all right now uh you see um his name is uh was changed to paul now um you know i end up uh uh quoting and giving this as his name but it's not actually his name his name actually is here which i'm gonna go into so um i uh you know as i had well, it was on the comment board i did spoke that uh I've never pronounced it before, and that's speaking about the reference of what his name was, was, used to be Saul, all right, but changed to Paul, and, um, um, like, the characters itself remind me of the Hebrew word Sha'awal, but, you know, uh, 
like going to hell or grave and such but um i'm not sure particularly how to pronounce saw in hebrew i see a sha a a and a wa and a and a la so i'm i'm not sure you know just uh you know might maybe another brother know how to pronounce it i mean maybe it could be the same as sha wa but i'm not sure but anyway going into his, uh, paul's actual name in the hebrew i end up of course asking and getting edification on it um you know to uh the elder of the camp with the bach and i believe he uh you know got it from uh another uh elder brother which uh, gave the clarification for paul's name which you know going back to the hebrew new testament uh, which i'm in right now okay um right here you have it here which you have you have uh if i read wa sha sha wa or sha -wa. I don't know how to pronounce Paul Saul in Hebrew yet, you know what I mean? Just trying to the best of my ability. But it says Ha Na Kora Alright, which I know Kora is uh called, alright. Um but uh going in is gum is also and then you have it the name here, right here, and this would be Paul's name in Hebrew. All right, which you have uh, Paul, Paul, Paul Lawas, Paul, Paul Lawas, Paul Lawas, all right, or Paul, Paul Lawas, Paul Lawas, yeah, I believe uh, the brother uh, had uh, uh, told me, and uh, you know, I told him I'd do a lesson on it, you know, just to make the clarification in Hebrew, because uh, I, you know, I mean, I, of course, want, uh, you know, you know uh, incorrect thing going out, of course, because um, you know, I was incorrect with the saw, you know, uh, you know, just, I ain't mean to, but it's like, you, you know what I mean, I, I, I just, you know, made a slip, you know, just my brain was moving so quick, but it's uh, uh, right here, which is uh, a pa, a wa, a la, and a wa, and a sa, it's like, yeah. pa, wa, La wa sa, and that's the Hebrew characters right there. That's in the Assyrian script, and then so for um, what it is, uh, the proper pronunciation is Paul, La, Paul, Paul was, or Paul was, all right. Um, which actually uh, the brother had um, mentioned that um, Paul itself is Latin in uh, origin, all right. Uh, and he said that the elder uh, Uriah uh, from uh, GMS Chicago, which uh, the elder Uriah, um, you know, I learned a lot from um, a lot of, of course, uh, other elders as well. A lot of them old he, uh, old school Hebrew lessons and stuff, which you got on the different, um, you know, uh, YouTube pages. Uh, I remember like GMO, uh, G, uh, G, not GMO, GMS uh, socket, GMS uh, Fortress, and I think if I'm not mistaken. Um, Different GMS Chicago pages, uh, but um, I think uh, he might his page might be currently Jim uh, Yariah Howarda because you know Esau be taking down pages. But uh, anyway, uh, he mentioned that to to him, uh, I mean to uh, the Bach, which is the elder, uh, well the elder brother in the camp, um, and it says Paul, which means little, in the Hebrew Hebrew the Hebrew word. Uh, for little is might, but the, the Hebrew equivalent is uh, Paul Paul Was or Paul Was, or at least that's what the Hebrew word you will see was used there for Paul. All right, so um, and I'm I'm familiar with the word for uh, might because I use it in my um my intro when I do my uh my actual lessons. Uh, I use uh, my lamadium, which is a, a little, and uh, lamadium is lesson or teaching. Now, just to go into it right here for Paul, just to you know make sure you show it the clarification. You see it here of Latin origin. Okay, here just so that you know Paul itself is a Latin origin, but you know you go into it, uh, Paul. Which is small or little, and then just to show you, 
I think I believe if I go to like Isaiah 60 or something like that, I might gather like look up little uh, like uh, and it might have that Hebrew word if I'm not mistaken. A little one shall become a thousand. Isaiah 60 and 22. All right. Uh, let's see if we have the same word. Nah, it's not a small one. They don't have that one. I mean, let me see. I'll go to like uh, small or let me see if I can find it. It's a uh, or little. I just need little. A lot of spiritual activity going on actually too outside just heard a uh, fire alarm go off but anyway outside at another nearby apartment complex but um let me see if I can find that word for little Okay, so you can just see the word my in general so you can you know get familiar just in general for those brothers as you know into the Hebrew so as you see it here my I a my I and a ta so my it all right in this verse let a little water I pray you all right uh, I believe yeah might be in this case Yeah, you got la quack, which la quack means like to take or rest or seize. Okay. Nah, I beg please, or beg please now. My ite little, and you have myum is water. All right. So my ite is the word right here, which is little. We'll just show you the definition, which this is the Hebrew equivalent to uh, Paul, 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 Paul Was, or Paul Was, for Paul's name in Hebrew. You see it, littleness, few, little, fewness, hardly, shortly, little worth. All right. Um, to be small, uh, diminish, uh, to, to make small. All right. So, you know, just to be small, all right? And, um, you know, of course, we know as believers, uh, you know, prophets, you know, we, uh, you know, you know, we live very humble lives, and Paul was uh, very humble, you know, even having an amount of knowledge he had on him, he still was, uh, had different infirmities, uh, you know, a thorn in his side, I believe, or a thorn in his flesh, something of that nature. To keep them humble, all right. But um, yeah. So you know that this word my eye is equivalent to uh, right here. Uh, Paul, 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 Paul was or Paul, Paul was. All right. So Paul was or Paul Pauls. All right. Slack you. But you know, just going in the spirit. I mean. So Paul, Paul Was, or Paula Was. All right, and that just mean little or small. Or like I, I say we, like in Scottish tongue, I'll say like we. Okay, I'm just we, I'm only we or small. All right, you know, that's, uh, you know, Paul's name meaning, all right, which is Paul was or Paul 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 La was all right so you know that's uh pretty much the lesson uh, I'm gonna leave another precept as well and um, Isaiah chapter 19 you know the Lord also returned to us this language so the Hebrew you know so of course we're um, Speaking it to the best of our ability, socket one moment. Yeah. 
All right, so um, it's 19 and 18. It says, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. The language of Canaan is the Hebrew, all right? Um, and uh, the land of Egypt, all right? Up here in Babylon, America, these of our captivity, all right? Uh, it says, In square of Yahweh of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. Ultimately, America is going to be destroyed by ice being fire and fire from the chariots of the Lord, so called UFOs, which the Lord is going to come back. All right, in as a swift cloud, and with us, yeah, in a swift cloud. All right, as you read that, I believe above. All right, that's uh, right there, Isaiah 19 and 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud, which is a code name for a chariot, and shall come into Egypt, America, and the idols of Egypt, America, shall be moved at his presence in the heart of Egypt. Uh, the mind of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. All right, in this place, all of the different, uh, you know, philosophies and all that is going to get destroyed. You know what I mean? The works of this place going to be destroyed. All right, so you know that's uh, the edification. It's 144 right now, too, for a 441, which is 441. And that's a confirmation. Your spirit, all praise to the Abba Shimashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashash